Radhe Shyam. How do you say it? Radhe Sham. Radhe Sham. The Y is silent? Yeah. Sham. Damn. It's all a sham. Hello, people. I'm Javi Kawai, joined by Siddhi Kalapkar. Kal- yes, Kalapkar. You Kalapkar. got it right. We're looking at Radhe Sham. Radhe Sham. Radhe Sham. Radhe Sham. This is why I don't, like, I don't normally bring on Indians. Because then they're going to correct me and make me feel stupid for my terrible mispronunciation. Radisham. Did I get it right this time? Yeah, Radisham. Okay, with Prabhas and Pooja Hegde, whose name I first read as Pooja Hedge. Oh my god, my friend did that too. Is your friend Indian? Yes, he is. Perfect. I I don't feel stupid now. He saw it, he's like, Pooja Hedge. And I'm like, it's Hegde. What are you saying? What are you saying? Hegde? Hegde? Yeah. There's no R in there. How are you getting Hegde? It's Pooja Hegde, yeah. I say Hegde. It's like the same thing. It's just, I have more of like a... You're rolling an invisible R. Hegde is directed by Radha Radha Krishna Kumar. Yes. Okay, what? Oh, like Radha Krishna Kumar. The name was just nice. I liked it. Um, and so, all right. Well, here we go. Let's check this out. Sun. Whoa, we got some weird subtitles going on. Hold on a second. <laughs> Chinese. Sun. Agli baar maa poochegi to keh dena. Meri kismat mein pyaar shaadi dono nahi hai. Just want flirtation. Flirtation ship. All right. Never heard that before. I should try that out. No, I don't fall in love. If pyar pyar, what's the name of it? Lekin main jo liye thoo, mujhse pyar karoge, to zarur maroge. Ninety-seven me out here. Who is this good-looking bad fellow? The great Vikramaditya. I call him the Einstein of palmistry. They say that he looks at the time. John Lennon has taken your autograph. This is a joke. They want to meet all of the world's great people. From the beginning to the beginning, what will happen? I've read everything. Can you imagine? Yeah. I witnessed a miracle. Yeah. Hey, Radhe Sham. Wow. You're in love, Prerna. Pyar to me dhund lega. लेकिन उस प्यार को पाने के लिए तुम्हें उसी प्यार से लड़ना पड़ेगा वट इज है प्यार किस्मत से लड़कर जीत सकता है क्या हमारे किस्मत ने ही इतने बड़े भूकंप को जन्म दिया है जो प्यार जिंदगी दे सकता है क्या वही प्यार जिंदगी ले भी सकता है आई लव यू आई लव यू आई लव यू राइट वॉट हैपन क्या कर they make love making look so much sexier in movies than it is in real life. <laughs> look at the sheets and the blankets and the hands. <laughs> you know what? I had this weird thought where everyone came with their hand like, read my palm. <laughs> it's, can you imagine if you're like like a world famous masseuse or something and yeah. everyone's just like, my, 
<laughs> like just crowds of people yeah. come up to you with their back facing you. Yeah. He's sort of this um, Don Juan sort of guy who he's flirtation ships. He doesn't do yeah. relationships. He does flirtation ships. That reminds me of like Daisy, like Indian, American Indian boys in today's generation. American Indian boys. Yes. So this is what you see happen a lot with Indian yes. guys? Like now they're, they're like, oh, like Bollywood is fake. It's not real and then they just want flirtation ships this is a real thing that i thought this thing. movie made that up oh it's a real thing when i saw that i'm like wow i've seen this so many times but the whole thing is he ends up falling prey to the pretty lady yeah and that's like brown girls are like i'm gonna change the guy who wants to be in a flirtation ship and he's gonna fall in love with me and he's oh this is not that. limited to brown girls okay this is just like women <laughs> all right this is like you get what you pay for so you decided to go after the guy with the bike and the tats and like the badass haircut. Then you get your heart broken. You're like, why can't I find someone good? Because you ignored the guy in the corner. That's true. Who is nice, has trouble getting his words out because you're so pretty. And he, does, he has zero confidence because he's never been in a relationship before. That's the guy you go for. The one who's too, ner too nervous to say hello. Right? Yeah. The one who's like, <laughs> that one? Like, yeah, it's icky at first. But then if you get past that stage, they're actually super nice and they'll never leave you. A, a wise person once told me you should date someone ugly because they'll never leave your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. He's this palm reader and he goes from relationship to, re well, not relationship. He goes from woman to woman. He's basically like James Bond or he's a womanizer, right? And mm -hmm. he does whatever. And they fall victim to him because he's so handsome and so sensual and whatever, whatever. But then he meets a girl who changes his ways. Mm hmm. That's what I got. And then for some reason, everything goes awry. I didn't understand why. I think it has something to do with like, he believes that he can read a person's life from beginning to end. Oh, that's right. Okay, I got that. Yeah, and then this situation took him by surprise because... He's, a, he's not that good of a palm reader? Well... Or he, does, he just couldn't read hers? Because he's like, oh, like, can destiny change for love? That type of thing. Because apparently he's not... In the beginning, he was like, oh, I would never get married. Like, I'm not destined mm, for that. Yeah. And then he ends up liking this girl. And then he's like, oh, but like on my palms, it says I'm not going to get married. Because she dies. I don't know if she's going to die or not. But I think that's that's the whole thing where it's like, is reality and like pre like predetermined fate. Okay. Like kind of like that versus each other. I don't know if that's coming out right. But like, I think I, I think I get you. He's saying that your entire life is predetermined. And then she comes along and Ar then that kind of causes him to question that. That's interesting. There's an argument to be made there. I, I personally sometimes wonder if everything is just this epic math equation that none of us are have the ability to comprehend. That's true. Because if you think about it, everything from the Big Bang to this very moment is a chemical reaction. Everything is just this ping pong, pinball effect boom 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 all the way until you're sitting at my dining table and we're doing this video mm -hmm. you know what i mean is there any choice do we have any choice do we have any say so because everything is just a chemical response that's an interesting thought i like promise and I, this movie looks pretty I, I don't understand what exactly what's happening but i'm definitely curious i don't understand what goes awry exactly like why i guess that's the point of watching the movie is mm -hmm. to discover how everything goes awry and will he be able will their love triumph over destiny yeah okay i get it Interesting. It felt a little bit Titanic-y. Yeah, uh, the whole like the, ship. Yeah, with the ship and all that. Yeah. But I mean, it, it was doing some gymnastics. Like the, the ship was doing some crazy stuff. Yeah. I'd love to hear from the engineers or physicists in the in the, in the the comments if, like what you thought of that. That's what I would love to know. <laughs> That's my neutral, non-offensive way of asking the question. Yeah. Like, what did you think of that moment? How did it look to you? It looks interesting. I mean, the, the thing about it is this movie had me from the motion posters because the motion, did you see this? This is your first time looking yeah, at this. Yeah, it's my first time looking did you, at Have you ever seen a Prabhas movie before? Uh, Not really. Um, what does that I've mean? I've seen like trailers and stuff. Okay. I, oh, it's very. It's a very binary question. I've, okay, I've seen, I've seen, parts of certain movies okay, like but you saw Bahu, but you, did you watch all of Bahubali I didn't watch all of it I watched like parts of it damn what were you doing that was so important so, you couldn't watch the whole thing <laughs> I, I was in India actually and it was playing on the TV oh gotcha so I would like watched it here and there oh gotcha the motion posters were quite interesting in the way that it was um, I guess just kind of leading you into this world mm -hmm. I thought it was interesting the way the motion posters were animated and whatnot. this movie is I think I saw a teaser before. This movie is not exactly what I was expecting um, when I clicked on the trailer. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. I mean, Parabas is a very big deal. And I know that a lot it of is. people, whether I actually have interest in this or not, I do by the way, whether I have interest in this or not, 
uh, I know that my audience, a substantial portion of the audience is going to want to know what I think of this movie. Yeah. Uh, because it's promise. And Pooja Hegre. Hegre. I was going to say Hegre. Yeah. Hegre. There is an obsession with feet in this movie. Did you notice that? I didn't notice that. Foot shot right there and then but boom. Oh. And then uh, where's the beach? Or the boom. Look at that. See? Feet, feet, feet. Now, there is a little known Shah Rukh Khan film called Devdas. Oh, yes. There's a whole thing with feet in that movie, too. Yeah. So I don't know if that is an homage to Devdas. I don't think so. I think it has to do with... Well, Devdas, I knew it was, like, to showcase, like, her, her file. Her what? Like, um, like the, the anklet that she was wearing. There's a whole thing where Shah Rukh Khan's, like, straight up kissing her feet and stuff, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that... So my whole thing is like a lot of directors are inspired by other directors that came before, right? Yeah. And so Dave Das is presumably a very, very uh, well-known movie yeah. that has inspired a lot of people, I'm sure, mm -hmm. a lot of up and coming directors today. And so, you know, it's entirely possible that, you know. I actually didn't notice that only because I think I might just be used to it. Why is that? Because like watching like Bollywood movies, I think it's A common. lot of feet shots? Yeah. Like it, I just, now that you pointed out, I notice it. But before that, I was like, oh, this is normal. If you guys can respond in the comments with honesty, uh, I, I think that a foot fetish is actually a big thing in India. It might be. It might be. I'm not sure. I, I think I looked it up before. And really? I think India is like one of the biggest populations with a foot fetish. Y'all really? be honest in the comments below. Surely you, you scroll down right now. Someone's like, feet you. <laughs> but you know. anyway, interesting trailer. And uh, it looks beautiful. That, that's the thing I, I should have mentioned uh, earlier in the conversation is that the film, irrespective of like whether or not I was able to you know fully follow the story, mm -hmm. it looks pretty. Yeah. So definitely engaging. It looks very big. Like it's made on a grand scale. Mm-hmm. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Follow City Kolapkar. Kolapkar. Did I say it wrong? Yeah, no, you said it right. Okay. On the social media, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, all notifications, and please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Do let me know about your foot fetish in the comments below. I'm Jabby Koei. This is City Kolapkar. Peace out.